All right, on to our next stop, Belize City, Belize. So at this particular port, this was another port where they had a card slipped into our uh, key card slot of our cabin door saying, remember to be on ship time because for whatever reasons, the phones do not connect with what actual the ship time is. So from our prior experience in Roatan, Honduras, I made sure I'm looking right at that ship time. And so at this particular stop, we did not have any excursions planned. Mind you, at Belize City, um, Belize, you do have to take a tender boat because the ship does not dock like directly on a port where you just kind of walk off the ship and there you are. You take a tender boat. It was about a 15 minute um, boat ride to shore where everything was happening. And so, I, as I mentioned, we didn't have an excursion plan. So we decided to take a city tour and, of Belize. And it was really nice. It was the driver was great. He was funny. He was entertaining. And we did learn a lot about, you know, the city and the country as well. On our way, the driver stopped and some a woman was selling uh, homemade banana bread. And so we were offered if we wanted to purchase the banana bread, which we did, and it was delicious. And then we he took us to a stop where we did some rum tasting. Now here at this place where we did the rum tasting for $1 USD, you were able to sample two, two different you know, beverages, whatever it may be. So we had a coconut rum, I tasted a cashew wine, I believe it was like a blueberry wine, and then another rum, I don't remember the exact name, but this is where you can, uh, you know, taste for a, a, obviously it's a cheap price. And then if you want to purchase here, we did notice that if you purchase your, your liquor inside where we did the tasting, it's a lot cheaper than purchasing it when you get closer to the the ship's uh, port where every, everything's happening before you get back on the ship. So through that tour, it was it was nice. And then he did stop in front of three women. They had kind of had their own little setup for their own businesses and making food. So we decided to stop there for some home cooked meal, I guess you can say. And so we did. And the food, the food was pre made. And I, I guess. For me, I, I, I was looking for something like a little bit more warm, but um, other than that, if you're looking for something that's you know made by a local, then this is a great place to stop. And it's right close to where you start your, where you get off on the ship. So it's, it's right there, I mean, where the tender boat drops you off. So it's right there close by, if you're looking for a, a local meal um, cooked there, it's, it's very, it's close by and you don't have to walk that far. You come back inside um, the the port where all the vendors are, and there's a lot of shopping, souvenirs, uh, food, drinks, and then we got back on the tender boat. So we really didn't stay there long. And then as far as the beaches, there wasn't a beach that you could just enter in right there off the stop. So I, I felt a little disappointed in that. But I guess if you take an excursions, there's some snorkeling and things that you can do. Um, but it wasn't accessible from say where the tender boats drop you off. Like people weren't getting in the water, there wasn't sand or anything like that. So I feel like it's important to kind of, you know, know this because obviously it's not a country that I've been to or visited and no one has given me their their examples of it. So maybe on different sides of the country, um, you can access it that way. But on that side where we were at, it wasn't, you didn't see anybody going into the water from, from that area. So. That is our experience in Belize City, Belize.